Well hello there and welcome to this unit BHL015 Introduction to Human Resource Management. Over the next few minutes I'm going to take you for a quick tutorial of this unit and how to navigate it. When you first arrive in you arrive to the announcement screen as you see here and you'll see announcements from your teacher with the most recent announcements being at the top of the screen. As we then progress through the unit there are a series of uh, links down the left hand unit menu and we can navigate then by clicking on those links there's a start here section. This gives you some general overview information and unit outlines and I encourage you to explore that material. We have a what's new area which summarizes any changes that might have occurred since your last login. So here you can see for instance the announcements area again but also information lower about what might have changed in terms of assignments, content, surveys etc. So it's really a bit of a one-stop shop for what might have changed. And then we progress into the content. The content is broken down by topics and I can click on for instance topic one here. The topics are all structured in a similar way. They include some learning materials at the beginning of that topic. So I just click on to that to access those materials. These learning materials have their own navigation you can see down the left hand side and it's simply a matter then of progressing through that content. And then each uh, topic area also has a series of activities or activities. Now if we use this one as an example, this is an activity where you have to first watch a video there and then respond to a series of questions. You can see those questions here and some instructions about what to do. So after t watching the video and, and listening, uh, uh, completing the questions, the way you respond is to click on the link above, click on create thread at the top left to contribute your responses. So let's try that. So it's asking us to click on the link above, this is this link here, and then click on create thread to contribute your responses. This is the discussions area of Blackboard and what it allows you to do is to contribute your own responses to these questions but also in a way that other students can read and respond to them. So through these activities not only are you testing your understanding of the learning materials but you have opportunities now to uh, discuss with your colleagues and some of the activities will actually direct you to work in groups on teams on collective assignments for instance. As you progress through the content and complete the activity stated Occasionally you'll arrive at these assessment points, these are points in green. Now what they do is they t direct you into the assessments area. Let me show you what that means. On the left hand menu here there is a collection of all of the assessments for this unit. You can see them here, you can see them at a glance and see all of the, the various assessments and you can complete the assessments as instructed here. Those assessments take a number of different forms. There are some assessments with computer marked quizzes where you will complete those uh, on screen and get immediate feedback on their results. There are group work activities where you have to gr discuss particular concepts in a group. And there are assignment activities where you will produce a written document, submit that written document back for for marking by your teacher. So there's a range of assessments there but in each instance you are directed into how to complete that assessment and you do so by clicking on the link and then following the on-screen instructions. So that's a basic overview. Uh, your teacher will be available of course to respond to any inquiries. There is a discussions area on the lower left and one of those discussions is frequently asked questions. So if you happen to have any questions about this unit or its delivery, feel free to uh, post them there. Also consider reading the responses from others. It might be that one of your fellow student colleagues has already asked that same question and that it's been answered here as well. And so I hope you enjoy your online experience.